Hey my friends, it's a beautiful day, so I thought we would go outside and capture the beauty of uh, outside, outsideness. So um, today I am thinking about Kobe Bryant because um, he's in the news. Now, I don't watch the news, but by the news I mean people's Facebook feed. Also, I don't know who Kobe Bryant is. Um, I have pieced together that he was a basketball player and that he, um, I think he was accused of some stuff some, some years ago and he died in a helicopter crash yesterday and he was young, 40s. So, um, when, when a celebrity dies, most of the time it's just like, well, that's, that's too bad and everybody dies. Um, but this affects a lot of people. It really, really surprised me because I don't keep up with sports. Obviously, I don't know who this guy is, but uh, who he was. But it really affects people. And here's what I can liken it to: I still miss Prince. You know, I still miss Leonard Cohen. I still wish I could watch a show of theirs or hear a new album or new song come out. So in that respect, I don't belittle the fact that celebrity has its place. But I will say that 150,000 other people died yesterday and uh, another 150,000 people will die today and they may not be somebody you know um, it may not be a celebrity um, there were seven people I think in the plane or in the helicopter crash and uh, the only two that are being mentioned are him and his daughter and it's dreadfully tragic I, I, I hate it and as a matter of fact we prayed for his family whenever we heard the, the, the news because and we prayed for the families of the people that were also on the plane because it's such a it's hard thing to see a, sh a life cut short and uh, the life of a child and the life of a young man like he was um, you know celebrity I told my kids you know I'm, I'm famous enough to know that celebrity is not the answer that people look for um, I am well known enough amongst enough people I can tell you it doesn't satisfy you um, People, you know, commit suicide who are rich. So money is not the answer either. Uh, people commit suicide who are famous. So fame is not the answer. Um, what satiates the soul is uh, love. And if you look for love from a human being, you may find it. And I hope you do. I hope you are loved. But I think that has to be, it can't be an, an eros love. It has to be an agape love. And agape only comes from God, unconditional, complete love. And you deserve that. And if you don't know that, uh, maybe nobody's ever told you, maybe nobody's ever showed you that, I'm here to tell you, I'm here to show you that God's love is the thing that you're actually looking for. And uh, you're worthy of it because he's deemed you worthy of it. So, uh, yeah. I don't have a lot to say. Like I, I didn't know. I've never watched. I couldn't pick him out in the lineup. I, I, I never watched the show or a, a show of his, a, a basketball game. I wasn't raised to know sports, and I never bothered to get to know them because it just seems, you know, I see the talent. When I see Prince at the Super Bowl, I see the talent in that. I mean, he was phenomenal. Uh, when I hear Leonard Cohen write lyrics, as a lyric writer myself, I'm like, wow. You know, so to me, those things merit uh, a measure of of uh, the wow factor and and uh, respectability. But and I know that there's an art to putting a a ball into a basket. I understand there's a physical art to that, but I just never learned to admire that. I never learned to appreciate that. It wasn't shown to me as a child as something I should appreciate. As a matter of fact, for years I just made fun of it. Um, but I know it's incredibly, insanely important to some people and uh, I'm, I don't mean to uh, to sound condescending when I speak about it it's just imagine if you will you, you're an alien from another planet and you look at somebody in the NBA who's being paid millions and millions of dollars to put a, a ball through a hoop and uh, you're like oh okay well what about that guy over there that cured that form of cancer you know like let's maybe we should pay him millions of dollars and celebrate him um it just it seems it made it to me but again um different strokes for different folks as sly and the family stone taught us um yeah i'm sure that sounded condescending anyway 
the sad part, I apologize. The sad part is someone passed away, seven people passed away, and then 150,000 people passed away. And they're going to today and tomorrow and the next day, because every day we're alive, 150,000 people leave Earth, at least. So my goal for you, my encouragement to you, my goal for me, my encouragement to you is to do the thing that you want to do today, especially if it's the good thing to do, if it's the right thing to do. Do it because God's placed a passion in your life to do it. And don't make excuses. Excuses are just nonsense, right? You and I both know that if you want to do that thing, you could at least today, you could have at least taken a step closer to it. So all it takes is one step closer. That's all I want you to take is one step today. If you're a writer, then write. If you need to lose weight, go for a walk. If you need to uh, finish your your thesis, then finish your thesis. You, if you need to... Uh, if you need to rest, then, then rest, but rest knowing that you're resting so that you can do a better job tomorrow. Okay, my friends, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Rob with some guy named Rob. You can find me here on wherever this is, or you can find me on Patreon. If you would subscribe, that'd be awesome. And um, of course, if you want to be a part of the, the tribe, then join me on Patreon and help me make music and videos and life and all that. Check this out. Hey, go for a walk today. It's already beautiful out here. Sounds like two dogs are maybe having very rough and violent something. All right. Better them than me. That does not sound fun. All right. My love to you. Be cool. Be cool to each other. Love God. Love each other. Yeah. Jesus is right. It, we make it difficult, but in the end, it's pretty simple. See you, friends.